what's up loves i know it's been a minute but i'm here you know what i'm saying so anyways so yesterday right i went to punts and i was a punch you know walking around looking at stuff and i saw these tote bags right and i'm like they are cute but i don't really care for the design on them so i talked to my friend who i was with and i'm like bruh i can design my own and she's like yeah because you know she's an artist too so i know that's boom so anyway i went to hobby lobby this morning and i got some bags so let me show you the bags and then we're gonna get the designer all right so this is the first one i got right right real nice real cute you know what i'm saying real simple i feel like it's gonna look good on you know you feel me and then i got this one this one caught my eye i was like this is so cute um it's just like the color the brown the green it's giving look at it Ooh, you can't really you know what i'm saying it's giving so we got that one and i got this one it's kind of smaller it's a little bit smaller but yeah man this is <laughs> this is it this is how it go so I got three of those. Um, I didn't even know this is how to pocket right here. Look at that, little pocket in the front. Pocket in the front, little thing. That might be a change to the design. This one, you know, I feel like with this one, I'll probably go with like a black design. I don't know. This one, I'll probably go with like a blue. So the pockets on the back. I feel like I'm gonna go with like a blue design with like a quote on either side like you know a picture on one side a quote on the other side you know what i'm saying you see the vision i see it um this one um i don't know yet it's the this i don't know i feel like i want to do something with that you know make it cute or just do it on this side it just depends but those are my bags i want to see what it's like from hard so i get from that store oh uh, that's not I got some um, clear coating spray paint so I can put it on my canvases because the whole varnish thing and painting it, that's not really for me. I got a fine tilt brush because I have needed one. And then I got a um, Sharpie, a fine tip Sharpie as well. So I can draw my lashes on all my paintings. But yeah, man, so that's that. Um, I feel like I need to put something on because I'll be very de devastated if I get these pants and this shirt, if like paint gets on it, I'll be really tight. So look, like, look, you see this? Like paint on that would suck, right? So um, let me change or put something on, on top of this so we can get into it, you feel me? Yeah, let's do that. All right, so first things first, we're gonna start with the sketch and then we're gonna get into it. All right, so boom, I started with the sketch, you know, yeah, I started with the shape of the head first. But before I did that, I kind of like taped off the area that I wanted my frame pretty much, like the frame for the canvas. And then I went in with the sketch, obviously, as you can see. Um, basic facial express, like facial placements and stuff like that. Honestly, looking back at this video, I'm like, dang, the eyes are kind of slightly off. But this, I'm not on Procreate, I can't just... I'm saying mirror the eyes on the other side. So I got to do what I got to do, right? So anyway, um, yeah, that's that. I kind of decided I was like going to talk to y'all while I'm doing this. So, because I feel like I haven't been on here in a minute. And I haven't did a video in a very long time. So I was like, I'm going to do this video. And I'm going to talk to my people as they watch my video. You feel me? So anyway, after I finished the sketch... You know what I'm saying? I got to paint it. I just did a blue and white. And honestly, that's just been the two colors I've been using for the last few weeks when it comes to paintings. So I've been using blue and whites. <clears throat> and some type of yellow or something or orange or something to like bring out the background. But I decided with this one, we're just going to stick with the blue and white. Because you know when you're designing a bag or you're designing something like clothing wise, it got to be able to like match something. And besides because this is a bag i kind of want it to be able to match multiple things and once you add like multiple colors you know what i'm saying and i kind of want it to it to have like that simple vibe that like real smooth vibe to it 
So I didn't want to add too, too much. And I felt like blue is like a very neutral color. Like, you know what I'm saying? It kind of matches a lot of different things. And the fact that I've mainly been wearing like browns and tans, the back being mainly tan, looks like the pop of color with the blue is not too bad. You get what I'm saying? So that's so why I just kind of stuck and vibed it out with the blue versus, you know, doing the orange background like I was thinking. Now to that other bag, I feel like I might add a little bit more color to that one. I'm still not sure exactly what design I want to do with the other two bags. Like that green one I showed y'all is very much a question mark because I kind of like it just as it is. Like I like the very simple things sometimes. So I know I might just do some like abstract art on that or I don't know. Just have to like probably take a picture of it, put it on Procreate and just play around with different designs on there. But anyways... Back to this one, back to the topic at hand, this picture. I decided midway through that I did like the turban idea and that I was going to stick with that. Because at first I wasn't really too sure if I was going to give her like a turban. And then, I don't know, I decided to stick with that and keep it pushing and go with that. Um, I'm not going to lie, I kind of don't want to talk about this whole process i feel like y'all can see what i'm doing so there's no need for me to explain it so i'm just gonna talk to y'all about what i'm about to so recently i've been trying to get everything in order as far as art goes and as far as just figuring out like my schedule so i can have more time to put out more content as far amongst all of my social media and just really focusing on my brand and how i want everything to look so with that being said I've been working diligently on like just being honest with myself, time management and all of that. And just trying to figure out how everything is going to flow. And now I feel like I'm not in a perfect spot. And realistically, I probably will never be in a perfect spot. But I most definitely am in a better spot to continue and work on everything the way I wanted to work on it. And to continue to grow. Like I'm in a position to where I can work here and learn. <clears throat> I'm so sorry about my voice. I don't know if it's like going in and out. But anyway, I'm in a spot so I can continue to work where I'm at and learn and just continue to grow as far as with my business and with the process of everything. I have to figure out like a lunch date for everything. But so far, it's all been kind of like working together. I realized that you can't just focus on the negative you can't just focus on what you don't have you have to be able to focus on what's in front of you like you have to use your resources and just really sit back and see what you do have you know what i'm saying so that's kind of what i've been doing and just kind of changing my mindset up about the whole thing wow but um yeah man that's kind of what i've been up to i just feel like i kind of wanted to tell y'all that because you know this my it's my art channel, yes, but I also kind of want y'all like to get adjusted to me as a person, not just as like an artist, you know? Because on this channel, my thing is I want to be able to like just have y'all grow with me as I transition from an artist who's doing like a nine to five to an artist that has her own art business and, you know, it's just fun with life and doing it that way. So I was just like, you know, I got to start somewhere. So I decided, I guess, to start with talking to y'all throughout, like, my art videos and just letting y'all know what's up. You know what I'm saying? So we can, like, grow together so y'all can be on this journey with me as I grow. But anyways, back to the picture. What I decided at this point, because I wasn't so sure about the background or what I wanted to do with it, I decided I was going to go with, like, a kind of, like, abstract feel with the, um, I don't know if you would call this abstract, though. I don't really think it is. It's just doing shapes in the background. So I don't know what you want to classify that as. But yeah, I just decided to go with just having fun in the background, creating a whole bunch of random shapes with the blues, mixing the blue and the white, and just going at it with like the different shapes and doing that way. And it endlessly turned out a whole lot better than what I thought. And one thing I can say about art is when you stop stressing and you just kind of have fun with it, your art turns out so great and you end up creating like your own little style. I feel like the hard part about it was hard for me as far as producing art was I kept being so focused on it and I was taking the fun out of it. But once I started to just like go with the flow and just do it ever I thought and wasn't trying to be so technical with it, it was able to it was easier to just like go with a flow of my own 
and just kind of create my own like style or whatever. Cause so I feel like that's what I was able to do with this picture and pretty much a lot of my other pictures I've been putting out. Like if you follow me on TikTok, I think you can see like my style developing personally. That's just how I feel. Or maybe you can't. I don't know. But yeah, man, I feel like it's been a whole growing process this year. And it's been like a interesting journey overall. Art is something that's most definitely fun and it is most definitely something that is like it's one of those things to where you can't really put like a, you know what I'm saying? You can't really put a title on it because it, it's just one of those things to where it's, it's up to your interpretation and it's how your viewer depends on viewing it. And it's so vast and it's so different to where you can't really just, you know, it's, it's one of those things to where it's really up to the person, it's up to the reader, it's up to the viewer. You know what I'm saying? I think that's why I like it. It's not subjective. It's very much so open. You know what I'm saying? You just have fun with it. And that's why I really like it. Like me, doing these shapes right now. I have no type of nothing. I'm just going with the fuck. Because watch that. You see, I just kind of like messed up the whole thing. That's what you would think. But then as I'm looking at it, I'm like, hey, that's that's kind of fire. You feel me? So I let it go. And I just let it do what it do. That's what I mean by like just having fun with the process and just going for it. Because... That's, I feel like that's what art is. I feel like art's supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be, like, all technical and boring and la da 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 I think you're supposed to have fun with it. And I think you're supposed to just enjoy it. I don't know. That's just how I view it. It's really relaxing for me. So I was just like, when I have a job or whatever I do for the rest of my life, I don't want it to feel like work. I want it to be, like, just something I do and I just happen to get paid for it. You know what I'm saying? And that's what art is for me. It's something I enjoy to do, and I just happen to be able to make an income with it. And so, what I decided to do is show you guys how I do that and pretty much the process of doing that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, back to this bag. I think it looks amazing, but it turned out so good. And I honestly had no idea how I was going to do this. Like, this whole thing was not sketched out in my head at all. It was just like, all right, I'm finished. Let's just put this little random blob over there and see what happens. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I said it a lot. But anyways, it's finished. My bag is finished and I really like it. So let me let me get let me just not get the full effect. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, so like I had to like stand up so y'all can get like the full vibe, you feel me? Cause I feel like the fit, like you feel me? Like, you got the fit, and you got the bag, so I just have to get, like, the whole vibe, you did. So, like, I love the way it turned out. You know what I'm saying? It is so cute. I feel like I might add, like, a, um, probably, like, a quote across here or something. I don't know. But this is the bag. It is so cute. I'm so proud of myself. I was slick nervous about how it would turn out, but she is so cute. You know what I'm saying? All right, so um, this is day one bag. I almost definitely have we have two more bags to do, so two more videos will be coming. Um, just want to say thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. I know I've been slacking, and I have no excuses for that. I've just been lacking, and I'm just trying to do better. So with that being said, um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll be putting out more content soon. Your girl's getting life together. So more content will more definitely be coming your way. All right.